Hi, this is Caitlin with GetLead Forms, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the GetLead Forms platform. Once you log into your GetLead Forms platform, the very first thing you do is create a lead form. You can do this by clicking on the Create Lead Form button in the upper right hand corner. Once you start to create lead forms, you'll start to see them populate in your account, just like this. Each one of these blocks represents a lead form, and as you can see, there are some high level metrics such as engagements, leads, conversion rates, and lead value. To get to each of your forms, all you need to do is click on View Form. To create a lead form, you'll click on Create Lead Form, and this will take you to the Lead Form Templates page. And I always recommend starting with a template rather than building one from scratch. We've done all of the heavy lifting for you with the templates. Typically, it makes sense just to use a template to get started. We're always adding more templates, and we have a ton for all sorts of industries, ranging from auto dealers, to fitness, cleaning services, legal, plumbing, insurance, landscaping, movers, mortgage companies, pest control, and many more. So simply scroll down, look through our templates, and find the one that you would like to use. You can preview a template by clicking on the preview button. And to choose one, you simply click on choose. Once you click on it, it will take you into the lead form builder. This will load straight onto your screen, and this is where you can modify your form to have it match the look and feel of your website. I'm going to take you through the builder, starting from left to right, first beginning with design. In this section, you'll notice a variety of things in which you can change to customize your lead form. First, if you take a look at the template style, you'll notice that there are two main styles. The first style we have is the enhanced form. The enhanced form is the type of form that you see a lot of the big guns using, like Home Advisor or Thumbtack. And we also have a more unique looking style called the chat style form. And this particular form looks and feels just like a chat. This is our highest converting template. But regardless of the template style you choose, you can customize both of them just the same in this design section. In the design section, this is where you can design your lead form to match how your website looks. So for example, if you wanted to change the color of the buttons, you can simply click on response styling. And here you can customize the buttons to match whatever color you use on your website. So for example, if you use blue and orange as your main colors on your website, you can simply go in, change the colors without ever touching code. And just like that, all of the changes will be right there for you to see. You can also click on preview and that will enable you to look at your lead form without ever having to add it to your website. You'll also notice some other things such as a call us bar where you can add in a phone number for your customers to be able to call you directly uh, from that particular lead form. You'll also see uh, the option to change the progress bar and customize it. You can customize that as well as the social proof here on your lead form. And once you've finished making your changes, you simply click on save changes. Another thing I'd like to call out is that as you're building your form, if you have any questions about what any of these items may mean, you'll notice a little question mark next to it. If you hover over it, you'll notice the information that you're looking. And so that way you know exactly what to do. So now let's move on to the step section. The step section is where you will probably end up spending the most time when it comes to adjusting the questions of your form. And this is where you want to think through the questions and responses in your form. The first thing to note is that all of the steps are listed out in this box here. To get from one step to the next, you can simply click on a step and it will load the step right on your screen. Now, all of the updates to the step happen on the left-hand side. So for example, let's say we want to change the project type step. We click on that step and then we can make the adjustments here on the left. So let's say we want to change this headline here saying, change it from what would you like done, we would click on question text and we can type in what we'd like it to say. So let's change it to what type of project you like to create. And then I click on saved to make sure that I've saved it. And as you can see, an update to the form happened in real time. Now this isn't to scale, but this little box here represents what you'll end up most likely seeing on your website. So just like that, we updated the headline. Now the responses, the ones we see in blue here, are in these little cards down below. To edit, you'll click on the little pencil. And then that expands into some additional settings. So if you scroll down, you'll see here the response text. So if you wanted to change it from new website to something different, you can type that in here. You can also link it directly to a phone. So if somebody clicked on new website and you wanted it to link directly to a particular phone number, you could enter that here. Or you can also link to an external website where you would enter the URL here. An important thing to note is after you've made each of the responses, you'll want to click on save response. Another thing to note is the last thing here says select a target step. This links it directly to the next step 
if somebody were to click on that response. So when you're looking to connect one step to the other, all you need to do is click on the target step and choose the step you want for your response to point to. This essentially allows you to build conditional logic into the form. After you've made any of your changes, you want to make sure you click on save response and save step. And that is the step section. Now let's move on to settings. One important thing to note in the settings section is that Get Lead Forms comes with the capability to have different form modes. You can have your form be embedded right into your web page or landing page, or you can choose to have it pop up. If you choose pop up, you'll notice that some additional features and settings appear below. And in the near future, we're even going to have AI powered pop ups. So keep your eyes peeled for those. Another thing to note is that you can choose to toggle the on site message on or off in this portion of the settings. The on site message is the tiny little message that appears in the bottom right hand corner of the screen that when clicked, it opens up the form. And this is a really great way to boost conversions. If you choose to have this feature on, you would simply have it toggled to the on position. But if you choose not to have it, you can toggle it off in this section. A final thing to note is if you choose to integrate with Google Analytics to get even more data about your form, you would simply click on Google Analytics and all you need to do is drop your tracking ID into the box right here. We're always adding new settings based on the feedback we get from our users. So be on the lookout for any updates that may come. So let's move on to lead delivery. Lead delivery is where you're going to essentially tell Get Lead Forms where to send your leads. And you have a number of options here. You can send leads straight to your email address or to your phone via text message. In addition, you can push leads into various email services and CRMs such as MailChimp, ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign, HubSpot, and we even have a Zapier integration, which pretty much allows you to connect with any platform that's available on Zapier. And if you need it, we have webhooks as an option. Now let's talk about setting up the lead form on your website. When you're ready to set up the lead form on your website, click on Publish. Next, make sure that the page or pages that you would like to add the form to are set as target pages and you can add multiple pages here. If you would like to block a certain page, you can do that in the block pages section. The main section to kind of call out here is the add to site instructions. So the main thing you'll need to do is copy your pixel script, and then you'll paste this into this head section of your website. This is the main thing you'll need for the lead form to work. From there, you have a number of ways you can integrate the lead form into your site. For example, if you would like to open the form with a click of a button, such as a click pop, there's a number of ways that you can configure this as seen below. Another thing you can do is embed the lead form. And when you go to embed the lead form, all you need to do is grab the lead form ID here and copy it to the page. One final thing to note, if load time and speed is really important to you, then you can generate the raw code version of your lead form and paste that right into the page. This raw code somewhat decouples lead forms from our servers and allows you to get the fastest load times possible. And this can be really useful if you're driving in PPC traffic to your lead form where the load speed is so critical to performance. So that's how you get the lead form set up on your website. Another feature I want to highlight is the duplicate form right here in the upper right hand corner. If you're planning to create a ton of lead forms across multiple pages or even clients, clicking duplicate form will simply generate a copy of this lead form. Once you have one set up the way you like it, all you need to do is hit duplicate form and you can continue to use the same type of forms across multiple pages. So now let's talk about metrics and optimizing your lead form. One of the amazing things about Get Lead Forms is that we not only give you an easy way to build your lead form, but we also give you a way to optimize your lead form after you launch. So the first thing to know is Get Lead Forms gives you a ton of metrics. You have high level metrics here with impressions, engagements, leads, and conversion rates. Then you can drill down a bit and see where your prospects are coming from, their top devices, what cities or countries your prospects are from. And you can even export all of this data into a CSV if you need to share it with the rest of your team or your clients. Now, one of our favorite features here is the ability to drill down into every single step of the form to see the drop off of each step. So now you can know exactly where to optimize your form. So if you go into your form and go to this metric section here, you'll see that each step has metrics associated with it. So you can see the conversion rate of each step. So if we look here at this form and we see that the described step has a 53% conversion rate, that's roughly 46% of people are getting hung up on this step and not continuing forward. So this data right here gives you a really good sense of where to improve your form so you can get even more leads. Once you start to identify places to optimize your form, you can even go on to A-B test it by clicking on A-B test. 
and this will essentially allow you to run a 50-50 split test with your form. So that wraps up the form builder. And one final thing to note is if you have any questions or you need help, feel free to reach out. We're always here to help you. And another thing you can do is you can click on this little magnifying glass here. And we have a ton of help documentation. And we're always building more and adding video tutorials. If you don't find a video or help documentation, again, feel free to reach out. We're always here to help you. So that wraps up our tour of Get Lead Forms. We're looking forward to hearing from you.